Welcome back to Cronkite News. I'm Ashley Engel with your Cronkite Sports Report. Spring training is finally underway in the Valley, and players have reported to camp and games are set to begin on Thursday. Cronkite News reporter Tyler Rolfs is at Scottsdale Stadium, where the San Francisco Giants have been preparing for the 2022 season. Major League Baseball is back, and that means spring training is back in the Valley. I'm outside of Scottsdale Stadium, home of the San Francisco Giants, as players and coaches were finally able to come together and practice and train in team facilities. COVID um, and now the lockout, we feel like this is an opportunity to, to just look forward, right? We have our, our writers in the clubhouse, that feels more normal. Um, I think I saw one of our staff members with a mask on today, that feels more normal. Our, our players are much more comfortable um, expressing emotion, meaning like hugs, handshakes, high fives, like everything is trending in that direction. I think the players and our coaching staff have definitely put the lockout behind us. Baseball is right around the corner and fans will be able to see their favorite players and teams finally play this week. As for the ball clubs, they have less time getting ready before playing these spring games. We are going to focus on improving our processes and our preparation. We're going to ask for our players' feedback on how to do that. We have plenty of ideas ourselves as a coaching staff. Teams are preparing to start the spring training season on St. Patrick's Day. And whether it be the Giants here at Scottsdale Stadium or the Diamondbacks over at Salt River Field to Talking Stick, players and fans alike are excited to get the season underway. From Scottsdale, Tyler Rolfs, Cronkite News. As for the Diamondbacks, the team made their first transaction after the lockout, bringing relief pitcher Ian Kennedy back to the Valley for a one-year contract. Kennedy was a starter for the Diamondbacks from 2011 to 2013. Kennedy will now join veteran Mark Melanson in the bullpen. March Madness is here and the brackets are set for the NCAA tournament. University of Arizona men's team gets a top seed while the women's team is seeded fourth and will play at home for the first round. Look on the men's side, the Wildcats are number one in the South region. They'll face the winner of Wright State and Bryant on Friday in San Diego at 4.27 p.m. Arizona time on True TV. Fresh off of their Pac-12 tournament title on Saturday, guard ben Benedict Matherin said the team is ready for the big dance. And uh, it's all about winning it all. You know, we, we won the Pac-12 regular season, Pac-12 championship. Now we're going for the big thing. But um, like I said, like, we're grateful, but not satisfied. So we just yep. got to keep on going. On the women's side, the Wildcats are seated fourth and will face UNLV on Saturday at 7 p.m. Arizona time at the McHale Center. The Wildcats made a run to the national championship last year before falling to Stanford. Head coach Adia Barnes is thrilled to get home court advantage for game one. This is a, the perfect venue. We have some of the best fans in the country. And so um, to be able to have the chance, hopefully, cross my fingers, to be able to um, sell out McHale and play at home, I mean, that's a huge advantage for the first couple rounds. The NASCAR Cup made its return to Phoenix Raceway this past weekend for the, run off, the Rue Off Mortgage 500. The top three finishers were drivers competing for their first career wins, and it was Chase Briscoe who won it all. Yeah, it's unbelievable. They definitely made me earn it. You know, I felt like there was a couple times there I had to race one and a caution would come out and then another one. And I got lucky. Those guys kind of started racing each other behind me and I was able to get a gap. Unbelievable. You know, this has been a track that I have really, really struggled at and really had to learn how to get better here. And never in a million years thought I'd win at Phoenix and anything, let alone the Cup Series. And uh, yeah, this is where the championship's at. So hopefully we can get to the Final Four and uh, do it again. The Suns scored a season-high 140 points last night to beat the Lakers at Footprint Center. Devin Booker led the team with 30 points and 10 assists, and he says losing was not an option. The last game, I told you, man, we don't like losing two in a row, so we just want to come with, you know, a lot of energy and effort. And, you know, we did that to start the game, and, you know, they had parts of the game where it felt like they were pushing back, and then, you know, we rebuttaled again. So it was a good game for us. And with the NFL free agency getting set to begin, the Cardinals get things rolling with a pair of signings. The team announced they have signed tight end Zach Ernst and running back James Conner to three-year extensions. Both players were starters on last year's playoff team with Ernst coming from the Eagles. Conner led the team in touchdowns and made the Pro Bowl. 
He's now expected to take on an even larger role since former Cardinal Chase Edmonds signed with the Miami Dolphins and Christian Kirk signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Cardinals also announced that they have signed quarterback Colt McCoy to a two-year deal. That's all for today's Cronkite Sports Report. Back to you, Sedona and Colt.